Hi, welcome back to part five. Uh, so I've decided to do something a little bit different with this one because it's a bit high that shelf and it was really hurting my arms. I filmed it a couple of times and just it was not good. Um, so I decided to get them down off the shelf and put them on the table to show you. Uh, so the first one I've got on this shelf is Lost Tango in Halifax, series one, two and three and the Christmas special from 2016. This is just a nice kind of drama set in Yorkshire around this woman and man who knew each other when they were younger, married other people and then met up when they were older kind of, you know uh, they'd, uh, I think they've both been widowed and basically it's set around them and their children, they've both got a daughter each and then their children their, you know, the grandchildren and it's just a really nice drama, it's funny and I think it's pretty much finished now possibly they're going to do another series but I really hope they do because I really do like this it's just something nice and relaxing to watch so I'd highly recommend that one if uh, you ever have the chance to watch it the next one I've got is Jonathan Creek a complete series 1-4 to four in the Christmas specials and then I've got uh, the other specials that are on after that one which are The Clue of the Seventh Thumb um, The Judas Tree The Grinning Man and then that's series five and there's one more which I think is the final one which was last Christmas I think or the Christmas before actually I think um, which is The Demon's Roost um, I haven't actually got up to these ones yet I'm still on the box set I got into this kind of late but I do like crime series and this is kind of something a bit different this guy is Jonathan Creek and he basically help set up tricks and invent tricks for this magician and he uses kind of his um, skills and knowledge of stuff like that to solve different crimes um, so it's a bit different because it's not set around the police trying to figure out who's done these crimes and it's like really good old fashioned kind of crimes, some of them are a bit creepy that a lot of them are set in like big old houses and things and I just love that it's something a bit different we're getting through it slowly because we tend to watch maybe an episode a month because it's a show that we tend to watch an episode on a Sunday and we've got a few different ones that we do that with so um, we're slowly working our way through but like I say it's, it's finished now so I don't mind if it takes us you know another um, few months to get through them um, we've almost finished the box set now actually um, and then we'll be on to these specials uh, the woman who he's with, uh, well the one on there is different, the woman who's in the first few series is this woman um, Maddie and she is kind of a writer and it's her who first gets him involved with helping her solve these crimes that she puts in her books but then in the later series there's different people that help him and I'm not up to that yet so I don't, I don't know exactly who they are or how it comes about them helping him um, but there's a different woman in that one um, the same one in that one and that one and then in series 5 a different woman again who I think might possibly be his wife I'm not I'm, I'm not totally sure because obviously I'm not up to there but I'd highly recommend this series if you do like crime series like good old fashioned kind of um, the kind of fun as well the way he figures them out it's kind of like a puzzle and I really love the way he the the just I can't describe it. If if it sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check out, you know, the first episode of it and see if you enjoy it. I think they get better as the series goes along as well. Um, so that's Jonathan Creek. I've got a few different ones here. I've got an Inspector Cause, which is based on the book. Um, I actually got that because my son's studying it for his GCSEs. Um, and it's a good adaption. I did an Inspector Calls as well when I was at school for my GCSE. Obviously that wasn't out then, but um, it's a pretty good adaption. There's a uh, Little House, which is kind of a uh, dark drama based on a book. Uh, basically this woman has a baby and her mother-in-law is a bit crazy and kind of t tries to take over and all sorts of things happen. I, I recommend this actually if you like kind of family dramas with a bit of a, a twist to them. 